We just got off a really exciting ride of Star Tours and heard about a lot of exciting things coming uh, in the near future from Star Wars. Um, this is immediately drawing my attention, of course. You talked about the projection show. Is that the new planet right there on, on that concept art? This is a piece of concept art. <laughs> We may go to that planet, we may not. This was an image that we okay. have tested and know that looks great on the attraction. <laughs> but what we're doing is we're holding that pretty close to the vest because we want people to be surprised where you're going to go on this new show, which is called Star Wars Galactic Destinations. It is a projection experience. Um, but I will promise you that you will go to locations throughout the entire Star Wars side. New and old. New and old. So, well, it's all old because it was well, a long time ago. Indeed. Um, so projections in general, mm -hmm. obviously, sort of the hot thing, one of many hot things right now. Um, what do you what do you think as because you've been working a lot with this, as it moves through iterations of this? What are you what are you learning? How do you grow that as a medium? That's a great question. What what we learn about projections is first and foremost story first. When to use them and when not to use them. If they help enhance the story. Uh, then I'm all for it. Um, I also, what's fantastic is technology changes every day and the clarity is getting better and better. The ability to be able to map around architecture is getting better and better. But unless there's a story at the, at the heart of that, it's, it's just images on a building. We don't do images on a building, we tell you a story. Well, that, that seems to come across. I mean, I love the, the Star Wars projection show. It's, it's wonderful. Um, you, I know you filmed some new things for the other projection show that's here. Mm -hmm. um, the bit of the Indiana Jones and Mary Poppins. Is there any, any new Star Wars content? There will be plenty of surprises on <laughs> okay. December 16th. Got it. Okay. Um, so, moving, up, moving past that then, um, what else would you say is the standout moment for Galactic Knights that like, people should, if you don't see anything else, like don't miss this? So, Star Wars Galactic Knights, which is on December 16th, the thing about it is it's a perfect holiday gift. If you're a Star Wars fan, give that gift to yourself or give it to a friend because it is, first off, the opportunity to be with other fans of the brand, the other fans of Star Wars. But on top of that, there are exclusives to this event. There's an exclusive panel discussion for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge with Scott Trowbridge and Robin Reardon and, and Chris Beatty, who are the ones that have created this land. That's a very rare opportunity to be able to talk to Imagineers and hear their perspective. There's new projection show, there's surprises, there's new characters, there's new photo ops, plus all the other entertainment that we know with Star Wars with some surprises put in for that. It really is, the biggest thing is the combination of all of that and just celebrating Star Wars two days after Star Wars The Last Jedi opens. Um, back at Star Wars Celebration, uh, Scott and, and Chris were up on a panel there about Galaxy's Edge and it, I think it took everybody by surprise how much was revealed and how it was like, oh my god, this sounds even better than we thought. Right. Is that going to be the impression coming out of this one as well? Um, I can't tell you what's going to be revealed, but I can tell you that Scott and that group hold this fan base very close to their heart. Uh, they want them to know first, just like this morning you had the opportunity to ride Star Tours the first in time and discover where we went. Mm -hmm. That is the kind of thing that Scott and that team likes to do because we want your perspective. We're making this for the fan of Star Wars. All right, last question. So is there, because we're obviously a couple of years away from Galaxy's Edge, is there like a Star Wars roadmap to get us there in the interim? It's like we've got Galactic Knights, we've got a Star Tours update. Are there little, little tidbits to keep us, you know? There will be Star Wars content coming all the way to Galaxy's Edge and beyond.